What well, is up everyone, my name is Alfred from Games Rip, and that's right, we are checking out Driving Strikers, and this is actually the release version, so we're taking a look at this, by the way, before it's actually released, and this game is released, or being done, by Dave Reichelt and Luke Benstead, so this really is the first online title for the Dreamcast for 20 plus years, brand new, going to be published by Wave Game Studios, in fact, you can grab it in the description box below, out July 7th. This is looking good. Let's take a full little rundown of what Driving Strikers is all about. But before we do, let's take a quick look at where we've seen this actual format before. And what I mean by that is vehicular sports. Does that make sense? Now, obviously, most people would say, hey, it's got to be Rocket League, right? That's the only one. Well... That's actually not quite the case. This is Monster Truck Madness for the N64, which actually includes ice hockey and football. That's right, this came out ages ago now. We're talking late 90s, and this had it then. So did Rocket League steal it from Monster Truck Madness? I'll leave you to ponder that one. So Driving Strikers has been bubbling along in development for quite some time now. But hey, we're looking at the final release version. That's right, the uh, version you can get your hands on very, very shortly. But the real interesting thing to me is the fact that they managed to get this guy to do voiceover. That's right, John Riggs, a.k.a. Metal Jesus' buddy, AKA John Riggs, the man who really is the NES open cart surgery genius. That's right, also met him at OLL Gaming Convention in the UK this year. That's right, he's done a lot of voiceovers for this game. Are you ready to hear them? Let's hear them. Driving Strikers! Blue Sky Beach, Cobblestone Castle, Lapland Village. Moonlight City, Red Hot Rocks, Sky High Hoops, Strikers, Start Your Engines, Cruel Fuel, Electric Squad, Flaming Wheels, Frozen Thunder, Lucky Vixens, Skilled All-Stars, Steel Rebels, Venomous Rhinos! Man, does that guy's voice lend itself so well to this type of game. Anyway, let's actually take a little deep dive... A little deep dive? A massive deep dive into Driving Strikers. Let's do this. So the game features a nice amount of maps here to play. And they are Blue Sky Beach, Red Hot Rocks, Cobblestone Castle, Moonlight City, and Lapland Village, all with their own decent style and unique background theme tune, which is great. So let's jump straight into the single player. We'll do it as championship shoot. You can kind of see exactly what this is all about. because so obviously you can play this single player. You can also play it couch multiplayer. And obviously being a brand new Dreamcast online title, you can play it online as well. And cross-platform. Anyway, let's take a look at the championship. So the good thing here is actually also that you get a nice amount of teams to play for. Again, all have their own identity, decent images as you can see, very, very varied, which is great, and actually a tongue twister. And here you go. This is it. This is a league table. And this is basically where you go from here. So once you're past the initial loading screen, you are straight into the game. And the game really is just like Rocket League. And what I mean by that is literally it's a car, it can jump and it can boost. And you basically got to hit the ball into the other person's goal, which sounds quite simple. But let me tell you, certainly isn't easy because the AI in this game really hits the spot. That's the one thing that a lot of these games don't really have is really good AI. And to be fair, they kind of just seem to get you out of nowhere. So you really do have to be on your toes. Thank you. 
And another good thing to note is at the end of each round, you get the stats. So you know actually how well you've done or how badly you've done that is. Now at the beginning of the project, I think the big thing for a lot of people was the control system. They didn't feel it felt quite right, but I think they've hit the nail on the head now. And what I mean by that is it really just didn't feel natural. Whereas now you literally move the analog stick in the direction you want to move and it goes. And then you've obviously got the standard boost button and also the jump button. Yes, there are no tricks to this. This isn't Rocket League and it's you can't say it's trying to be Rocket League. It's just a car game where you hit a ball around. So I guess, yeah, I guess it is a love letter to Rocket League in a certain way. But hey, it's just a bit of fun on the best console of them all, the Dreamcast. But like I said, also crossplay, which is something we'll come on to very, very shortly. One of the big things about games like this is the fact the soundtrack is pretty damn kick ass. Now let's take a nice little brief listen to some of these and let me know what you think, because I actually think these are incredible. And that's right, you can put the disc into your car stereo, or high five if you still got one, and rock out to the soundtrack. Okay, so now let's actually check out the online, which let's face it, this is probably why you're getting Driving Strikers in the first place, is to play online or cross-play. So first of all, you click on it and you'll get this. It basically directs you to the website. Make sure to put that exact link into your browser. Once you've done that, you'll then see this. This is where you either create an account, you know, you can either log in with Gmail, you can use whatever you want, whatever is easiest for you. Obviously, once you've done that, you then get this message. You're ready to play. Jump straight back to the game, and boom, you're in the lobby, ready to play Driving Strikers Online. And luckily enough, the main developer, or one of the main developers, was sat in the lobby. Must have been testing. Awesome. And as well as that, you can obviously host a game yourself, which is great. And like I said, this game is crossplay. That's right, it's going to be coming to various systems. The ones we can announce at the moment are obviously Linux, Windows, and obviously the Sega Dreamcast. But there will be more. A lot more. So yes, in closing, if I really had to sum this up, it's just a good time. What I mean by that, it really is local multiplayer, 
it's online via things like Dream High, then it's just fun. I mean, for me, it just, if you love games like Rocket League and you just want something a little bit different, that's what you've got here. It's something that, you know, like I said, it's been going along now for quite some time and we're really reaping the benefits. It also shows that, you know, there's an engine here that's been developed along the way that can lead on to other projects. And I believe there are projects already underway. So it'd be interesting to see what they actually become. Like I said, you can grab a copy of the game now. Links in the description box below. Grab it because it's a physical release. Support the Dreamcast, like I do. Make sure to do it. As always, smash that like button, subscribe and drop a comment. It's Al signing out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment and subscribe. As well as that, you can also back the channel on Patreon. QR code is down below. But obviously you can check out this video. You can also check out that video. And on that note, it's Al signing out.